Well, greetings once again. Welcome to Our Daily Timothy Time. Today is Thursday, the 17th of September, 2020. And uh, my name is Carl Coates from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim, Norway. We're going to continue with the Bible Timeline, Part 9 today. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. Now, let me tell you this. Uh, out there in Christendom, there's a uh, something called the Gap Theory, which just simply states that something happened between Genesis 1 verse 1 and Genesis 1 verse 2. Now, there are arguments on both sides of that. Some people say, yes, something did happen, and others try to say, no, nothing did happen. Um, but my personal conviction from studying the scripture and allowing the scripture to tell me what's going on and not me telling it what I think is going on, I fully believe that there was something that took place between verse 1 and verse 2. And uh, today we're going to look at chapter 1 verse 2 and it reads, And the earth, earth was without form and void, and uh, darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay, when you read about the, the deep there, the deep is a biblical way of describing uh, the container which the universe is held. Okay, um, if, you, if you go back to Isaiah and Ezekiel, you'll read about Lucifer when he fell. That's what was happening between verse 1 and verse 2, and uh, which goes to say God, would, God wouldn't form something that was without form and void. God simply doesn't do that. Um, and uh, so, so what took place is God had to contain sin. And what he did is he did it. And it's called the deep. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that it's drawn out in a triangle. Not a triangle. A rectangle. And uh, if you, it, the rectangle, if you go through the scripture, the rectangle is a, there's, there's types that go through the Bible. If you look at the ark that Noah built, that was rectangular shape. Not a boat shape like everybody makes out. It was rectangular shape. If you look at um, the tabernacle, it was rectangular shape. So God, uh, the, the way the heavens are set out is, um, it, uh, it's a type. You know, there's, a, there's if, in fact, if you want to look at a, a passage of scripture that will help your understanding there, go over to Hebrews chapter 8 uh, and you'll read there and, you, and, you, and you'll get what I'm trying to say about the shape of the of the container, the deep that holds the universe, and in that uh, deep is the earth. Okay, uh, now we could elaborate and we can unpack uh, um, this verse and uh, uh, the following verses in a lot of detail. But as you know, time is against us each day, and my my purpose and intent today is just to give you an example and and an illustration of the deep. Understanding this will help us as we go down through the oncoming verses. And um, as we work through the verses, the, the, uh, it'll, it'll start to make so much sense to you. And if this is new to you, look, it might be a shocker. You might be going, whoa, 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 whoa. But if you just let scripture tell you what's going on, it's a beautiful thing to learn about the creation. And um, Obviously, as I've said, time is always against us. So there, there, are a, a, there are a lot of scriptures that we can go and proof text out verse 2. But time just doesn't allow. Um, if you are looking for a more in-depth study, just leave a comment down below and we can do one for you. So that you get the full teaching of it. Um, that would be, I, I highly recommend that for you. Anyway, so the deep, uh, you got darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, darkness, that's a title. And we'll, we'll come to more of that as we go down. Um, and darkness was a result of Satan's fall. Okay. Um, we also learn and see that, um, that the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And uh, that's quite interesting as we start to look down through the, the, the oncoming verses. Anyway, if you're reading with us uh, through the Bible in a year, today we'll be in Genesis chapter 32, 33 and 34. And we also read the Pauline epistles. Today we'll be in uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 10 and 11. Uh, so there's a little bit of reading to do. I, I incite you, open up the Bible and just, just carry on reading. It's, it's, uh, there's so much profit in there. Anyway, my time's up for today. I hope uh, you've enjoyed our short time together and we'll meet tomorrow. And until then, Maranatha.